Hello guys, welcome back. Click on these uh, option here, which just says expand and uh, it's gonna expand it and then we are gonna say collapse and it's going to bring this UI onto the screen. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna do a filtering. So we filtered home phone, we filtered other phone, we are left with assistant phone and business phone, okay? So what we did was we started with all the records where we started with something like this. You can see here, we started with the columns home phone, other phone, business phone, assistant phone, mobile phone, contact. And this is the final output, which only have four columns and this is the final outcome. So what we did is we first started with home phone, we removed everything else and we introduced two columns, phone type and contact phone ID. And then we populated all of that and then we displayed it as an output. Now, the next time is we started the other phone, we filtered on other phone, we transformed that data into something similar and then we appended it over to this and this is your output. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this again, we're gonna go ahead and click on filter and what is the next business phone? So this is the business phone is not null. Business phone is not null, that is the filter name, we'll hit apply. And what does the filter does? It does a filtering on business phone. Business phone is not null and hit done. So it is giving you all the records where the business phone is present. It says we can't load the preview. Just go ahead and do that. Apply. And then this is your, I'm gonna hit save. Refresh it. There should not be an error, but let's see. Okay, the error went away, business phone is not null. Now we will do a transform. Okay, so we'll click on plus and we'll do a transform and we'll call this transform as business phone transform. And what we're gonna do, we will get rid of home phone. So we're gonna drop home phone. We're gonna drop other phone. We're gonna drop assistant phone. We're gonna drop mobile phone. And we will just have two columns, business phone and contact ID. So that is it. Now we are going to add a formula. You got it. And what is this formula is business phone type. That is the name. And this is going to be business phone. Okay. What we're going to call it, this will be an output type is going to be text and uh, show results in new column yes you can see here or we're going to use this one phone type and we'll change it to phone type you don't have to use underscore underscore c just phone type hit apply and a new column got introduced which will be populated with business phone another thing you need to do is you need to edit this and we need to just call it as phone so we're going to call it as phone underscore underscore c hit apply and this is your phone field, contact ID, and phone type. Now we need to add another formula here, and this is the contact phone ID. And uh, what is the function we are using? Concatenate, click on plus. It's going to concatenate the contact ID with the phone type. And then we're gonna use the brackets and it's very simple, we're repeating the same steps. Hit text, and what is the column label? Contact phone ID. And what is the API name? It is contact phone underscore ID, phone underscore ID, hit apply. So now you have four columns, phone, contact ID, phone type. Make sure you click here and you hit apply. It says we cannot load it, that's fine. Let's see if we did everything right. So you have phone, you have contact ID, phone type. This is the business phone, that looks correct. You mapped it to phone type, looks right. Similarly, contact phone ID, we did it the mapping and it looks like this, contact underscore phone underscore ID, hit apply and business phone. We changed the column, so we have to go to the this one. We have to change it, and we need to call this as phone type. Hit apply, edit attributes. Yep, click on this, 
phone underscore underscore C. Let's see if it works. Okay, so you don't have to use underscore underscore C, you just have to say this. And then you have is the contact phone ID. Click here. This is the phone type and hit apply. So now you should see all the data populated correctly. Okay, so this is business phone. So now you have gotten the business phone and all of that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit save. And then just one more time save, refresh it so that the error goes away, so that no longer the error. And now we're going to go ahead and click on connect with this append. So click on the plus and then select append. So now this is your apply. Make sure you hit apply. And now business phone will also be added. So the output that it gets generated, so the output that it generates now will have home phone, other phone, business phone. Okay, so you started with all the columns. We are left with only four columns and we appended the data. So this is your output. Home phone is there. Then you have is the other one. Other phone is there. Then the next one is the business phone is there and so forth. Similarly, you can do another filtering. You can select this. You can do a filter here and this time you're going to choose mobile phone, let's say. So we're going to go ahead and see mobile phone. So we'll call this as mobile phone is not null. Hit apply. Click on plus mobile phone is not null. So use the operator is not null. Hit done here and then hit apply. You're going to do another transform. So we're going to click on plus. We're going to click on transform. And this is called as mobile phone transform. Hit apply. And then in this case, you're going to get rid of everything except mobile phone and contact ID. So we're going to get rid of other phone. We're going to get rid of business phone. We're going to get rid of assistant phones. So all of these we've removed it and we left with only two columns, mobile phone and contact ID. We are going to change, edit the attribute here, which one mobile phone. So we're going to call it as phone. And this is the API name would be phone and hit apply. Okay, so now it's changed to phone and contact ID. We will add two formula. One is this just to capture the mobile phone transform. And this is will have a default value of mobile phone. And uh, where it will go, we will put it under this is output would be text. The field name would be phone type. And here will be phone underscore type. Hit apply. So the new column has been added called phone type. And the last one is the contact phone ID, which is nothing but a concat function. Click on plus and here we're going to provide contact ID and then phone type. And that's it. The name, it's going to be a text field and it's going to be under contact phone ID and the API name would be contact underscore phone underscore ID. So the same columns we are doing it and here this is what we have and then make sure we clicked on apply. Okay, apply is very, very important. So this is done and then we will connect this mobile phone to this append and click on append here. So now the output will have mobile phone populated also for each of those contacts. Okay, so this is how it looks like. I think we didn't hit apply. You have to hit apply here. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply. And now the data has appeared. Click on output and now it will have all the other home phone. It will have business phone, other phone and mobile phone populated. So you can see here home phone, other phone, business phone and mobile phone. So this similarly as a practice, go ahead and do it for assistant phone.
the same exact thing you'll do it and you'll be able to map it so this is how you can transform from one DLO to another DLO and you started with all these columns and we are left with only four columns and we have basically gotten the data and populated it over here so that is it from this tutorial thank you very much